There's definitely some do's and don'ts when it comes to cleaning wood floors. Let me show you how to get them clean and keep them looking great. So tip number one is to sweep, dust mop, or vacuum the floors. The reason this is so important is because we wanna remove all the easy stuff like dry dirt, debris, or hair from the surface first, then we can start wet cleaning. So a quick pro tip and something to always look out for is if you do find maybe a pebble or a rock on the surface of your wood floor, rather than sweeping it and kind of pushing it across or vacuuming it up and getting it spinning around your vacuum, I like to just pick it up, throw it away. That way I'm not gonna drag it or vacuum it across the floor, possibly causing a scratch. So tip number two is to choose the right cleaner. Now the two that I love to use on wood floors are either the Ecolab No Rinse Neutral Floor Cleaner or the Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner. Now both of these are neutral pH cleaners, which essentially means that they're not going to leave a residue or dry sticky after you use them and then cause dirt to be attracted to that stickiness and make your floors dirty faster. These are both gonna not only clean up the floors, but keep them cleaner longer. Now when using these cleaners, there is one thing to look out for. The Bona here is ready to use, so this can be used right out of the jug. However, the Eco Labs should be mixed with water. There's some various uh, dilution ratios here on the back. So just mix this as instructed. Now another pro tip is to never use a cleaner with any sort of wax or finish in the cleaner. What's gonna happen is yes, you can use it for a while and your floor will look decent, but repeated use will start to build up that wax on the surface of the wood floor and then the wax itself gets dirty and it's extremely hard to remove. Many times you have to call a professional. So I've been holding a secret from you guys for the last few months and it's finally time to come clean. I'm launching a Patreon. We're gonna have an exclusive group community chat. We'll all be hanging out answering your cleaning questions. And if this grows, I hope we have a nice little community of fellow clean freaks just helping each other clean up our spaces. We're also making step-by-step -step downloadable PDF companion guides for all of our new YouTube videos that you can download, print off, put in your cleaning kit, and hopefully speed up your cleaning routine too. And if you sign up, we're gonna put your name at the end of all of my videos as a thank you. I really appreciate the support. So tip number three is to never over wet your wood floors. This can lead to swelling, splintering, or even something called cupping, which essentially is just ruining your floors. That's why I like to mix my cleaner in a spray bottle and use a microfiber flat mop. I just spray the floor in sections and then come through with a microfiber flat mop and pull up not only the dirt and grime, but any excess moisture that's on the wood floor, ensuring that I'm not gonna leave too much behind and it's gonna dry quick. Now you can also use a flat mop with a sprayer built in. Those work great as well. Again, just work in sections because you don't wanna spray a bunch of cleaner down and let it sit. A good rule of thumb that I always try to remind myself as a pro cleaner is less is more when I'm cleaning a wood floor. Tip number four is quick and easy. Always mop with the grain. Not only will this clean your floor better, but it will also ensure that you don't leave any streaks behind. Now, another thing I also like to suggest is to go kind of in a snake pattern. This just helps you grab anything that might be remaining on the floor and remove it as you clean. Now, something to look out for is if you're going to use a spin mop or a traditional mop, always make sure to wring out the head and get it as dry as possible. If it's really wet, it's gonna leave water and it's gonna seep into the cracks and crevices and is going to cause damage. So tip number five is to be proactive and protect your wood floors. Now one way you can do this is by adding these little felt tabs to all of the furniture that sit on the wood floor, especially ones that you'll be dragging out like a dining room chair, just because you don't want that to cause a scratch. Now the other thing I like to mention is to just be mindful if you have wood floors in your kitchen or dining room of spots and spills. We already learned that wood floors do not like moisture, so by cleaning them up quickly, you prevent any possible issues. So now that you know how to clean your wood floors like a pro, click the video on screen and I'll show you how to clean up a dirty oven.